Hello guys, how are you? I'm Marco Maggiolo. I am an author, an animal behaviorist, and today I want to do this video to talk about something very interesting and very special and something that I learned in this process of writing books. Um, some people will call uh, better readers. And I like to call testing readers. That's the, that's the terminology that I invented. <laughs> Uh, but pretty much what I do is pretty much what they call beta readers. So, like, what is this about? Uh, when I when I wrote my first three books, Can I Legends Volume 1, 2, and 3, I had no, no idea what expected from them because it was my three first books, but I was very comfortable about it. I was, like, feeling good. I was feeling that... I was not expecting too much, uh, and the story in, this, in those books, they are real stories. So I was pretty comfortable with what I was writing. But then when I finished those books and I decided that I was, I was ready to write fiction, uh, I was very insecure. And I remember I was in a book fair and I was in the process of writing My Daughter's Dog. That's uh, the book. My first, I can say that is my first 100% fictional book. Uh, I was very, very scared. I was very insecure. I, I didn't know what to expect, um, especially inventing a story. So I remember talking with another much more experienced uh, writer in this fair. And he asked me, you don't do beta reading? And I had no idea what was that. And then he explained to me that as soon as that you have your first draft, as soon as that you have what you think is a story, you send this to some people you can trust and they can give you uh, feedback uh, about that story. And um, you can rewrite things. You can make the manuscript better. You can make the story better. You can... Uh, remove things that are not working, add things that are missing, uh, and make our story better. And then I start develop my own personal group of people that I trust. And now I have uh, a group of 20 people. And what they do is they read the first draft of my books. And then I got a little form and they, you know, fulfill that form. And I have some important questions there like, what did you like the most and why? What did you didn't like uh, and why? Uh, if they feel uh, um, compelling about the story and if they feel they should continue reading. I have a series of questions as I asked there. And it was the best thing I did for my life because the answers that I start getting, it start showing me what... Um, reader really wants to see in a book in a story and thank god that i did that because testing reading uh, it proved to me uh, that can be very important so basically you need to have the right people in this group so what i mean is you need to be people that you know they will read the book and the most important you know they will give you uh, 100% honest feedback. Let me give an example. I cannot put my mother in my testing reading group because she's my mother. You know, she's not going to be cold enough to tell me, you know, I don't like that book. I think this is bad. I think this is bad. So she's my mother. I know my mother, she will say that is amazing even if it's not. So I started talking with some people, especially people that I knew they were uh, reading my books and inviting them. And most of them accepted. And then today I have this group of 20 people and there are people from three different countries. And it's a group of people that I send my manuscript every time. At this point right now, as I'm recording this video, I have a manuscript for my next novel called Crimes in Rocky Pines. Uh, that is a is gonna be like a, mur a murder mystery. Is right now in testing reading. 
Uh, I will say that un until now, 50% of those people already sent me their feedbacks and 50% I'm still waiting. The, the testing reading go until June, mid-June. So we still have like pretty much a month ahead. Um, it's fine. But I already have an idea of the things I'm going to need to change a little bit in my next book. Uh, but the most important thing is it's important that you have people that are able to give you that feedback. And there's a lot of funny things that happen in testing readers. Sometimes I have a feedback from a person and this person say, oh, the thing that I most like in this book is this thing here. And then the next one send me a feedback saying the thing that I last like in this book is this thing. And it's the same thing. So some people will like it very much and some people will like hate it very much. And it's up to you to decide what you gonna to keep or remove. And it's gonna, it's, it's, I am the author. At the end of the day, I should know what kind of feelings I want to provoke on these people. Let me give an example. If in the end of the story, there's a plot twist that shock the readers and makes them feel a little bit oh my god that was that was horrible maybe that was the reaction i was looking for even if they say oh i feel weird maybe that was what i wanted to hear from there from them so it would uh, you the author is the only person who really knows what kind of feelings you want to poke on the readers. And uh, my last book, let me give an example. My last book, Ancient Clues, is unbelievably, is the most controversial book so far I have. So I have people who love and I have people who hate it. Uh, and people who hate it, I understand because the things that I did, yeah, I was pretty aware that some people would not like that. But I'm okay with that. But anyway, this video is also to tell you guys that if you're trying to write a book, if you're insecure about the book that you're writing, send to a group of friends that will be honest with you. But again, you need to be people that is going to be very honest with you because sometimes you, you really wanted to hear the bad things about in your manuscript and the things that you need to change. Um, those people need to be honest with you. They need to just send you the correct feedback. They need to really tell you why they don't like something. But at the end of the day, it's your book and you know what is the best. It does not necessarily mean that you're going to change how a book ends or how a book starts or how they get it from point A to point B and point C. Uh, because you are the author, but it's extremely important that you have a feedback from somebody. So thank you very much for all my test, my my uh, testers, uh, my that participate in my group of testing reading. You guys are amazing. I appreciate all the feedbacks you guys are sending me uh, for my next book. Uh, I have all the notes here with me, and thank you very much, guys. Bye.